What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here today guys. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the 13-inch MacBook Pro mid-2012 model. Now, being six years into my desktop iMac, I finally decided that it is time for an upgrade. I went with the basic MacBook Pro 13-inch model with the 2.5 dual-core Intel i5 processor, 4GB of RAM, and a 500GB hard drive built in. Overall, the speed of the MacBook is incredible and all these specs are great. They definitely compare up to what my previous iMac was, along with 1GB of RAM and a 250GB hard drive. Now, the design of the MacBook Pro overall is really great. It's not that thick and it also isn't that very heavy, so I am able to travel with this thing quite well. I've only had this thing for less than a month, so I haven't really gotten a chance to move around a lot with it. But I must say, it is pretty portable, easy to move, and it definitely is not a pain carrying or lifting. When looking at a comparison of the screen size, it's definitely very thin. Not as thin as something you'd get on a MacBook Air, but still, incredibly thin right by the side. It's actually pretty incredible, considering even though it's not the Retina display, the display is still very nice on the MacBook Pro. Speed on this MacBook Pro overall is great. I can open several applications at once and editing is a breeze. I know on my previous iMac I absolutely hated to edit because it was super slow and super laggy. Now with the MacBook Pro 13 inch with 4 gigs of RAM and a much better processor I'm able to edit so much more easier and get things done a lot faster. The speeds on this thing are incredible. While using the Google Chrome internet browser, I get amazing speeds, pages load up extremely fast, and I'm able to navigate through anything I want, and again, it is really great. Along with the multi-touch gestures, browsing the web has never even been better for me. Uh, definitely, I have to give it an A+, for browsing, tweeting, you know, uploading a video, sending emails, whatever I want. It all works very well and very fast. Along with the MacBook Pro's uh, speed quality, when comparing this up to 1080p video quality, let's say I want to view a video on YouTube or just a video like this through the Signbench program, just uh, benchmark testing, uh, video is very impressive too. The speed is a lot 